Hello, this is John Sayer with Applied Technology Group. I'm a civil applications engineer and I'd like to show you just a, a snippet today of what InfraWorks 2014 can do for you by taking 2D GIS data that we're going to drop into Civil 3D real quick and show you what we're going to be looking at and then show it to you how it would come in in InfraWorks and then show you just a quick quick run through of how you could create a quick visualization so that you can show your client this is just one thing that you can do with InfraWorks um, but everybody's getting the InfraWorks software with the Infrastructure Design Suite Premium Fulfillment and with the Infrastructure Design Suite Ultimate. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, if we were going to do a preliminary layout or just look at something uh, preliminarily, we would probably go out and get some GIS data from either a municipality or a website or someplace that's that's got the data. So I'm just going to drop in some buildings and some parcels and then connect to a, a, a raster file so that you can see what you would be looking at if you were to bring this map data or GIS data into map. So I'm just going to bring up the GIS data and let's look at the, let's bring the building footprints in. So I need to grab the other file here. So let's grab the shape file, just drop it on the screen and it's going to populate. Okay. So once that's in, that's our buildings. If we zoom in, we can see that our buildings are here and again, it's in a 2D environment. I can go ahead and go back to my my GIS data and I can drag in some parcels okay now I can stylize these parcels in map alright so I can edit the style go in here and take out the fill because I don't really need any fill and I can change the color of my lots so that it's something that I can see so now very quickly if I'm if I'm looking at a specific area that I'm wanting to work I can see what is there existing wise but again it is in a 2d environment if we were to take this and use it as a visualization um, this is what we've done for years so what I'm going to show you in InfraWorks is a very quick way on how to bring this in and look at it in a 3d environment using the same data so there's one more thing I want to do I'm going to connect to an image real quick so that we can kind of see where we're at so I would connect to a raster image this raster image is just a I think it's a TIFF so let's go to our ortho it's actually a SID file so I'm gonna bring it in and connect and I'm gonna add it to the map now if you've ever used GIS data in map before and uh, you you know that connecting to giant SID files it does slow the machine down just a little bit um, it does come in a lot quicker than inserting it so we, we are able to move around and see things very quickly so I can see underneath I can see the GIS or the uh, the TIFF or the SID file that I brought in I can see that I have my lines my lots my buildings things of that nature so if I was to to want to utilize this for a presentation piece or physically show a customer real time uh, as to what is out there and, and maybe start to make design decisions this is what I'm used to being able to use and I can do this right in front of the client so this interchange is what we're looking at again it's in a 2D environment okay it's there's nothing 3D here now if I take that same exact data okay and I open up InfraWorks and I select my model I've already imported this stuff in but I'm going to show you where I do it it takes the same amount of time to import it into InfraWorks as it did inside of Map or Civil 3D. So I'm going to select my Data Sources tab and show you. I've got my buildings, I've got my parcels, I've got uh, my image, and I've got actually I've got a surface underneath here, so I would be able to see terrain. So if I zoom in to an area, so this is the area that I zoomed into before, I can see the same interchange, and this is a 2D environment here but I can grab this and turn it and put it into a plane and you can see the buildings you can see the terrain moving up and down and I can start to look at it in an environment that's 3D people understand this versus this 2D map okay um, and when doing presentations just being able to do quick presentations that was like something that was unheard of in the past well the fact of the matter is is that in InfraWorks this can be rendered 
I can look at it right here. I can zoom to the particular point that I want to zoom to and I can go up to present and I can do a rendered still shot. Okay, I can also do what's called a storyboard which would be like a flyover. So if I wanted to start, let's just say, and I'm just going to do this real quick, let's just say I'm uh, looking at a road that's running right through here. Alright, so I'm going to kind of make my path start down on this area right here. You can see a hump, so you can see that it's reading the terrain data too. I'm going to build what's called a storyboard. So if I build a storyboard and tell it that I want to add a camera path animation, it gives me my initial frame. I can just zoom forward, hit the plus, zoom forward to where I want to go to, hit the plus, keep zooming, change views, change angles, okay, all the time adding the keyframes in to my storyboard all right I can hit my last keyframe and then I can run a preview as to what it's gonna do now I can slow this down I can make it faster I can make it ac actually match a particular speed but you see how fast and easy you can do a quick visualization just from those few little pieces of GIS data that we brought in again the way that you bring this in is the exact same way that you bring in data into map you can drag and drop it right here on your task pane and you're good to go it all comes in you configure it to say you know if you drag a buildings file in you tell it it's a building okay and it puts these buildings in so real quick I wanted to be able to show you why you want to start using InfraWorks and basically what InfraWorks would do for you uh, since that, that's a lot of the questions that we've been getting as to what will InfraWorks do for me and why is it included in the infrastructure design suites so if you've got more questions feel free to give us a call we can do a demo and run through of what InfraWorks will do for you completely. Um, again, this is just a five minute demo of, of how fast you can do a fly through. And for visualization, that is something that is coming up um, down the pike and everybody will be using visualization to win more work and tell a story, tell a compelling story of what they're wanting to do with their, their proposed sites and their proposed roadways. So I thank you today for, for taking time to look at this video. Again, if you have questions, feel free to call us at Applied Technology Group, and we can set something up, and we can go through it a little, a little more thorough. Thank you.